Okay, I'm back now. This is going to be another part of the inversion V.2 PDB. Um, what I'd move on to now is the buzzer. The Like I said, it's a good sized buzzer. Um, it's a lot louder and a lot bigger than a lot of the buzzers that come on any other, other boards. It's the same buzzer that we use on our Kunai PDB for the ZMR, and I know it's plenty loud. Uh, the only thing to really pay attention to here is you have a plus. It's got a sticker that says plus, and then it's got a remove seal after washing. Uh, I, I guess you can wash it. Um, I don't know if it's dirty. Um, I would just say remove it once you got it installed. How about that? Um, so anyways, you're just going to slide it in there, flip it over, solder those pins on. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so to get a video of this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to ground this tab to the trace that's underneath it. Now you're going to have to remove the buzzer or be very careful. So I'd recommend doing it before you install the buzzer. So what you're going to do basically is you're going to check continuity to start with against this pad. And then the easiest one to get to is motor number six on the ninja pin area. And that has continuity. So this one's probably okay. Um, if you don't have continuity there, you might have a problem. Another area to check, just to double check, is this little tab here is also a ground, and you want to make sure that you have it there. If for some reason you don't have ground between these two pads, once you do that, you'll want to check continuity over after you've soldered this tab down to the ground trace underneath it. And then again, you're going to want to check that tab to the ground pin there. And again, you can use the little the little nub in the middle also to check ground. As long as you have continuity there, your BEC is going to put out the proper voltage. If you don't have ground there, you're going to get battery voltage and it's going to short out your Ninja 32 or your Naze 32. All right, so I've got that buzzer stuck through the holes there. Uh, positive side on the positive side, I'm pretty sure. Got positive there, positive there. I still got my seal on it because it's still not washed. I Again, I don't know if it's dirty. I really don't know what to do about that. Uh, anyways, let me grab my soldering iron here. Still set to 650. Let me tin up the tip. I'm going to go ahead and put it on here real quick. And it shouldn't take but a couple seconds of it being on there. And it will do it. You can hear that flux sizzle. Done. Done. Put that away. Uh, once that's done... You can, however, I would go ahead and flush cut these. Um, this gets it out of the way of your ESCs that'll be here. And um, you don't have to worry about those poking through anything. You know, a lot of guys are gonna ask, should I cover this with this? Should I cover it with that? Listen, I don't ever cover anything with that electric, uh, liquid electric tape or anything else. Uh, these are solid mount components. Nothing's gonna slide around and arc on other things. And it takes a lot, a lot of current to cause an arc across pads. So, I mean, if you're a worry wart and you're really, really scared of something arcing out, then you can go ahead and cover these with something. I don't care what. You can put a piece of tape there. Uh, but as long as you're using an ESC with the heat shrink on it, you're not going to bother it any. Um, but again, if you want to cover these with something, go ahead and throw a piece of tape or uh, some of your uh, liquid electric tape. You're not going to hurt anything. It's just going to be messy. But that's it. Uh, I'm going to pull this off. Uh, I'm going to remove it. Um, I'm gonna pretend I washed this sticker here. Sorry, you didn't get to see that. It's pretty exciting stuff, but damn, it, that was bam, not damn. But anyways, it's been it's been washed. <laughs> All right, 
Um, I'm going to move on to uh, doing the pins now. Uh, I would recommend doing the... Um, sorry, I dropped, dropped my camera here. I'm trying to get it stuck. All right. So um, down here to your pins, your 90 degree pins for your signal pins for your ESCs. Like I said, the kit comes with the 90 degree pins. It should come with four, four of each. And then from there, you'll be able to install those. Okay, so I went ahead and I installed the pins for the ESCs already. Um, I didn't save that for you to see. Sorry, didn't think it was very exciting. Basically, you're gonna stick them through and you're gonna solder it on the other side. Um, you can see it's messy from the flux. So that's gonna be where you solder it. Again, these points aren't gonna hurt anything if they're exposed, so don't worry. Your battery's gonna sit here. It's not gonna puncture your battery, do anything bad to it. It'll be okay. I'm only saying that because I know I'm gonna be asked it 500 times. Um, this one you'll see is pretty close uh, to overlapping the positive um, pin of the ESC. Uh, again, don't worry about it. You're gonna have a servo connector over there. It's not gonna touch it. Um, so you'll be safe. Anyways, that's the pins. I think that is about uh, all I need to do for that. Uh, I'll move on to installing one of the ESCs. And of course, your ESC2 will go utilize these pads, this pad, and then the number two down here, and so on. Four with four, and then this one here is three with three, and two with uh, oh, one. Aha. This, this goes with one here, one, one. Uh, and one and, and then two and two. Sorry, I was looking at the camera not really at the board So I lost track of what I was doing and I can't count to four. But anyways moving on Let me get the ESCs out and we'll get one of those installed All right, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this on the camera. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to I'm gonna start at this um, number two and then um, See if I can do it like I said on camera don't know if I'll be able to, so I might have to shut it off. Um, again, I'm going to start off with fluxing it up with my fluxing pen. That's a pretty funny word you can play off of, fluxing pen. Um, then I'm going to take my Mini Beast ESC. This will fit most ESCs that are mini out there now. Uh, it'll actually fit our our 12 amp Black Ninja series as well, if that's what you want to use, because you don't want to run out a big ESC but it will fit the, the 12 amp. It'll be a tight fit, um, but it does fit between the pads and you'll be able to stretch the wires where they need to be. Um, obviously it'll have heat shrink around it also and you'll still have plenty of clearance once you get the standoffs on and all that. Now, the pins number two and number four that are in the front of the board, you can install those uh, now. Sorry, this will go this way. Um, you can install those ESCs. Before you move on to your back ESCs, um, numbers three and number one, you're going to want to put your standoffs here, um, especially in, in ESC number one. Uh, what will happen is once you get that ESC there, you'll be covering that port. It'll be kind of hard to get a screw in there without having to move stuff around. So I would suggest getting your standoff put in there, or at least put the screw in there. Uh, it's a nylon screw. Uh, and then that way you don't have to worry about that being a hassle later. So let me put the camera back down. Um, try to get this uh, get this on camera for you. So I already f flux those up, um, th all those flucking pads. And then uh, I want to take this sticker off. I'm going to flip it over onto this side. This is the BEC side. Uh, also, we did that to keep the BEC off so it gets some airflow. Positive side is on that side anyways and then the, the ground is on this side. So what I would suggest doing is lining this up. Uh, actually, you wanna go ahead and tin up the, um, the board first. That'll just make your life easier later. Uh, get a nice little, nice little gob on there. Same with the back. Same with the back. Okay, that should be good. Get a little bit more. I don't think it's going to be tall enough to cover the wire like I like it. And that front should be all right. 
All right, so again, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna find where I need to cut my wires. I'm gonna gauge it pretty good. Uh, uh, it looks like right about here. I'm gonna take my my little snips. I like to just grab it so I don't lose my spot. You do this off camera, basically all I'm doing is clipping these wires at that spot. All right, so once I get that done, I've got my little nubs of wire. I'm gonna go ahead and strip them down just a little bit. Give me enough wire to go onto the pad. And then that's that's that. So I've got my three wires. I'm gonna go ahead and tin these three wires up. Now the flux will go on this a little bit. Um, sometimes these wires will take uh, will take the solder pretty easy. So let's do that. Got my solder iron. Our cord's getting all tangled up. Grab that under here. Yeah, sizzle, sizzle. Get the next one, sizzle, sizzle. And some more of that pretty sound. All right, so we've got those on there. Go ahead and attach these to your PDB now, and I'll explain why later. And just give it some pressure, and that sucker will seat right on there. Nice and pretty. Now I got this next one. There we go. And then this last one here. All right, so we've got those on there. All right, so now what's gonna happen is since we've tilted this up, you're gonna have to kind of pull it up a little bit to get it seated right. Now, um, there you go. So now you've got that there. Now, when you do these, I would go ahead and get your signal wire out of the way. And then when you do these wires here, what you're gonna wanna do is give it a little extra because what's gonna happen is you're gonna clip it here and you're gonna cut it, but once you bend this, this down, it's not gonna have enough, oh, sorry, my hand was in the way. Once you bend this down, you're not gonna have enough of the uh, wire and the, the ESC is gonna be really tight. So I would recommend holding it up a little bit and just giving yourself a little extra to play with and that'll that'll help you out from ruining those those traces so let me do that real quick i'll cut it down uh probably about to right here i guess i could take some measurements of these wires and you can just have like a set um length and then you know that you're safe if you do it there uh if i was a nice guy uh, so we'll do that bend it over there and we'll give us give ourselves a little extra play. And that's a little 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 play there. Um, got your little nubs. I've got some nice little clippers here to uh, strip it down. There we go. And there we go. All right. Get that on there. Get that on there. Where is my pen? Let me flux in these wires. Just makes it a little bit easier for it to take that solder. Give it a little tin. You come from this angle here and tin it. Just like that. This will make it so much easier for you. All right, so once you get that down, now this is gonna be the hard part. You're gonna need uh, an extra set of hands or an extra uh, set of tweezers. Let me walk over here real quick. I didn't grab these beforehand. Um, I got a little set of tweezers that I got with my soldering iron. And they're actually pretty cool. I got a little bend to them. But these help me out a lot when I get to little areas like this. Um, what I can do is I can manipulate this wire with that curve of the, of the um, tweezers. And then I can seal that down, hold it there. Then I don't burn my fingers. So do that again to this one. Let's try to get that on the camera for you. It's a little dark, sorry. And that's there. All right, so that ESC is installed now. Um, now you've got that ESC installed. Once you get that there, that ESC is on there, you're gonna do it three more times. And then your servo lead, you can shorten this wire, you can leave it long. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave mine how it is. And then you're just gonna plug it in. Uh, obviously, you're going to plug it in after because you're going to need to get to these two pads. But just so you can see, uh, it's labeled, your, your, your negative, your 
uh, power goes in the middle if you have a BEC, and then that's your signal wire. And then once everything's together, you can kind of, you know, get this nice and neat and pretty up in there uh, once you get those other ESCs on there. But this will need to be unplugged while we put the other three ESCs on. Um, we won't do that on video. Uh, it's pretty easy to, to do once you've done the first one, and they all pretty much are the same. Uh, I'll get those other ones put on once I get these standoffs on and we move on further into the video.